Travis Davibliss, a dealer for King's Agri Seed and also a farmer here in Washington County, Maryland. Um, we're standing in a field of grass pro. We're trying to make quality hay here. Ours is not necessarily the cheapest. And uh, the feedback we're getting after a round or two of them using our hay is they're willing to pay a little more for uh, our product um, based on the, on the fact that their horses clean it up and are, are doing wonderfully off of it. So uh, that's a, another advantage to this grass pro mix is um, shows well in a bale and uh, people are willing to pay premium for the premium looking hay. So. Here at King's, it is our goal to produce perennial mixtures for you that return more money into your pocket whether you're feeding them to your animals or selling them to customers. We've been getting a lot of really good reports this year on Grass Pro. Uh, we sell it as one of our mixes. It contains both orchard grass and timothy. But one of the really ironic parts of this mix is it also includes tall fescue. And it has made its place into the horse hay market, which is really not a traditional place for tall fescue. So this is my Grass Pro hay here that I planted two years ago. And I sell it to uh, I've got three different horse farmers that I sell it to. So originally, before I started planting it, they uh, was concerned about the endivite. And I know that the Grass Pro is endivite free, so they are happy with uh, the quality of hay that I've sold to them. And as you see, you know, it's nice and soft hay. It's got the fescue in it, and it comes back great after the cutting. Um, the fescue really jumps back. And the orchard grass in there is, um, it jumps back as well. The timothy don't come back quite as much, you know, because after the first cutting of timothy, it really doesn't come back at well. But uh, like I said, my horse people, they're real picky, which most horse people are, and they are really pleased with the, uh, with the quality of hay that I send to them. Um, and I'm real happy with the Grass Pro. Uh, going into it, some of our hay, cus or hay customers were skeptical. Um, especially in the horse market when they hear fescue uh, but you know we have a either friendly end of fight or end of fight free fescues in this mix so we don't have to worry about that with the horses and the feedback we're getting um, you know till we get this made this there's a lot of timothy in this there's a lot of fines from the fescue and uh, our customers are are saying their animals clean this up wonderfully um, almost zero waste uh, with all the fines and and just it seems to be the ideal balance for a horse hay, uh, soft, palatable. Um, uh, we're just really having good luck with it. Um, I planted some last year, September 11th. Um, after I planted it, it was dry for like a month, so it came up. Um, wasn't sure it was going to winter over here because you know we have some pretty harsh winters. It was maybe two inches tall in the spring, and that stuff took off and jumped like wildfire and, and it made some good heavy tonnage per acre so I was real pleased with that as well. Adding tall fescue to the mix really gives the mix a lot of agronomic stability. We found that fescue is hardier to heat and drought also on the flip side cold and wet. Uh, in this case it's June the, the end of July actually and this field hasn't seen a lot of rain for about a month and this stand is regrowing, there's fresh growth, which really comes back to the fescue in the mix. It's really hardy, which gives the producer a lot of agronomic stability. Um, beyond that, it's also less sensitive to cutting height, maybe compared to orchard grass, and also disease tolerant. So it's a really good product for you as a producer, um, really gives you a good long-term stand. And then also if we can produ produce a good product back to the end customer, uh, that's just a great situation all around. So this is a Grass Pro mix, of course, you can source this through any King's Agri Seeds dealer local to you um, right down the road.